Um, okay, Alan, let's uh, start with a wee word about the game <coughs> last weekend against Hibs. It was, a, it was another defeat. Uh, again, we got our noses in front for the first time in the league this season. That must have been the pleasing aspect, but the second half, obviously, uh, there were a lot of negatives there. Game of two halves. First half, as you said, we got our nose in front. We managed to score the first goal. Um, I thought we restricted them to very few shots. Everything was like set pieces and corners. Um, defended really well and then second half we let them dominate the game um, and let their good players uh, obviously get on the ball guys like McGinn who causes a lot of problems second half Looking forward to this weekend uh, and the weekend after a couple of important matches coming up obviously Dumbarton first up on Saturday we beat them here the first game of the season are you expecting a similar game or are you expecting something totally different? I'd imagine it'll be something similar. Um, they gave Dundee United a hard game last week. I think Dundee United were a wee bit fortunate to come away with a win by all accounts. So we know it's going to be a difficult game, um, but it's a game that both teams need to win. Um, so that suits us as well. Um, we're going into the game um, knowing that we need to pick up results. We need to go in and maybe put a, a run of results together to work our way up the table um, because the position we're in is not good enough. And how far does it go on before you, I mean, you're not going to start panicking at this stage of the season, we're only 10 or 11 games in, but you're right, we do need to start picking up points fairly soon. If you want to keep in contact with the teams up above us, you need to start picking up results. Um, we still want to, we've got aspirations to try to finish, run about the top four if possible. Um, and to do that, we need to start picking up results quickly. Why do you think we haven't been picking up the results? Is it down to these individual errors that we've been speaking about? Or do you think it's a combination of that and maybe some players not being on form? I think it's a combination of things, to be honest with you. The, the team's been chopping and changing. Maybe players coming in late, missing pre-season, injuries. Um, but we've got a big enough squad now. Everybody's fighting for places, competing for places. Um, and I think we've got good enough players to go and challenge a lot higher in the league. One positive from last week was Nat Weatherburn making his first start in the league. How would you assess his performance? No, I thought he'd done well. Um, he's been a stop-start season so far. He's had a couple of injuries. Um, and then obviously it takes time to get fit again. So hopefully he can come in and get a run of games behind him and make a big impression. Speaking of injuries, how are we looking ahead of the weekend? There's a couple of boys struggling. Uh, so we'll just have to assess them probably tomorrow, um, but you've got guys like Joe Cardo coming back, he trained today for the first time, and John Heron, he was training with the younger boys just to get a, a touch of the ball really, and hopefully he'll start joining them as either Friday or Monday, um, and so we've got boys starting to come back. And finally, can I just ask you about the Scottish Cup draw, obviously we don't know quite who we're playing yet, but it's going to be either Gretna 2008 or Bucky Thistle, it's something different and it takes a, a wee bit of a break from the league when it comes up in a couple it of weeks. It does, they're always special games, um, the Scottish Cup, you want to have a good run in them, but they know that's going to be a difficult tie because when you're playing against teams like that, it's like a cup final for them, um, so we know it's going to be difficult.